here at House Public Information Services, we are counting down the days to the Minnesota State Fair. And we're hoping for another record-breaking turnout of those interested in taking the annual House of Representatives opinion poll. Speaking of numbers, the number 10 holds special significance this year, but more on that later. Right now, let's talk State Fair, the House, and what matters, your opinion. At the Minnesota House of Representatives booth, visitors are encouraged to learn more about the legislative process and the issues that could be before lawmakers in 2013. Visitors are also encouraged to take part in our opinion poll. I thought it was really good, it had good questions on it, and I'm glad that people at the fair can voice their opinion. Oh, I love it, it's great. 13 is the number of questions people can weigh in on this year's poll. Covering issues of the day, poll takers will be asked questions such as should there be sales tax on purchases from the internet and should there be fewer restrictions on consumer fireworks in Minnesota. The opinion poll is something that we do every year at the State Fair and we ask questions that have either come before the legislature or may come before the legislature and we give citizens the chance to give us their opinions on, on those variety of issues. 12,549 is the record-breaking sum of people who took the opinion poll last year. And that was up significantly from the year before, so we're hoping to break another record this year. One day is all that is needed for results to be made available on the House website after the fair ends. Telephone numbers and addresses for all House members and Senators are available as is contact information for the state's constitutional offices and state agencies. But fairgoers at the House booth can do more than just get the contact information for a representative. They might actually get the opportunity to talk to one or two or more. How are you? <laughs> I'm Joe. 134 is the total number of members of the Minnesota House of Representatives and the total number of representatives invited to participate at the booth. I just really enjoy talking with folks and it, it, it could be constituents but anyone, you know, even people from out of the state. We love to just talk politics, talk policy. Um, it's really fun to get to know people, hear what their opinions are. It's really a cross-section of people from around the state. You find out what uh, people are interested in and uh, what they see as the emerging issues. I find it a real learning experience. So back to the number 10 and why it is so important this year. Every 10 years, there is a reorganization of the state. Using figures from the census data, the state is divided into districts that have equal population, although a 2% variance is allowed. 201 is the total number of legislative districts that were redrawn in 2012. 79,163 is the goal for the number of people in each Senate district. And 39,582 is the targeted population goal for each House district. If you have questions about redistricting, head over to the Senate's booth located next to the House of Representatives booth. We're on hand to make sure that people are aware of their new legislative districts. We will be having a redistricting display and we will have uh, four different maps. We'll have laptops on hand. Uh, we'll be assisting those that need it in terms of uh, typing in their address zip code and we will have uh, in addition to laptops on hand uh, the maps that will assist people in finding the new districts we will then have these cards that show them their current legislative uh, districts who their current legislators are plus for the new districts indicate the district number uh, who the candidates are Back at the House of Representatives booth, there are a number of other reasons why it's a state fair attraction not to be missed. Take the nine-part state government series, sure to attract teachers' eyes, 
It provides easy to understand information about the state, its history, its symbols, and its branches of government. There's puzzle books, activity books, and capital dome hats that can all be enjoyed by children. In fact, a total of 2,500 capital dome hats were picked up last year, making it the most popular House of Representatives giveaways. Visitors can also sign up to receive the nonpartisan session daily, which provides email updates as news from the House warrants. Whether it's information about how to tune in to legislative proceedings on TV or the internet, or a guide for coming to the Capitol, the booth is a one-stop shop for all your legislative informational needs. Well, I sure hope that a lot of people make the effort to come. I think it's important to know how the state government works, how to get access to your local legislator. And I just would encourage people to uh, go and visit the booths and have just a fun day at the fair. There are a number of legislative issues we can count, but the one that's counted on most is seeing you at the fair. Don't forget to stop by the Minnesota House of Representatives booth in the Education Building and be part of our State Fair tradition.